Here, we'll examine how temperature affects the ionization of water. The conductivity of water could be measured with a very sensitive meter. At a low temperature, the conductivity of water is very low. But if we turn the hot plate on high, the temperature increases. The conductivity of water also increases. So at a higher temperature, the conductivity of pure water is slightly higher than it was at a low temperature. The conductivity of water arises from the hydronium and hydroxide ions that form when water ionizes. Remember, the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide are very low. That's why water is such a poor conductor. At 25 degrees Celsius, the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide are both 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar, and the conductivity of water is very low. However, when the temperature of water is increased to 60 degrees, the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration both increase to about 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar, and the conductivity of water is a little higher. So we can summarize by saying that when the temperature of water is increased, the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide both increase, and the conductivity of water increases. This can all be explained if we realize that the ionization of water is endothermic. The heat term can be written on the left side of the ionization equation. Increasing the temperature adds heat to this equilibrium system. According to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium will counteract the addition of heat by shifting to the right. As the shift to the right occurs, the hydronium and the hydroxide ion concentrations increase. Water is a liquid, so its concentration does not change. After the shift, a new equilibrium is established in which the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide are both higher than they were before the shift. It is important to realize that when the temperature increases, the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide increase by the same amount. And the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide remain equal to each other. Therefore, water remains neutral. Now we'll examine how temperature affects the value of Kw. Remember, Kw is the product of the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide. And at 25 degrees, the value of Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. But if we increase the temperature above 25 degrees, the equilibrium shifts to the right. So the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide are both higher than they were at 25 degrees. So their product, Kw, will be greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Going back to 25 degrees, the value of Kw was 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. If we were to decrease the temperature to below 25 degrees, this would remove heat from the system. The equilibrium would compensate by shifting to the left. And the concentration of hydronium and concentration of hydroxide would both be lower than they were at 25 degrees. And their product, Kw, would be less than 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now we'll summarize how temperature affects the concentration of hydronium, the concentration of hydroxide, and Kw. When the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide are both 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. But the concentration of hydronium is still equal to the concentration of hydroxide, so the water is still neutral. Kw is equal to the product of the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. Now we'll go to 60 degrees, which is higher than 25. It has been found that at 60 degrees, the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide are both 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. Even though they're both higher than they were at 25 degrees, they are still equal to each other. So the water is still neutral. Kw is equal to the product of the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide, 
which is 3.1 times 10 to the negative 7th squared, or 9.6 times 10 to the negative 14th. So to summarize, when we increase the temperature, both the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide increase, and the value of Kw also increases. The water, however, remains neutral. Now we'll go down to 10 degrees, which of course is lower than 25 degrees. At 10 degrees, it has been determined that the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide are both 5.4 times 10 to the negative 8th molar, which is less than the value of 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar they were at 25 degrees. So the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide are less than they were at 25 degrees, but they're still equal to each other. So again, the water remains neutral. Kw is equal to the product of the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide, which is 5.4 times 10 to the negative 8th squared, or 2.9 times 10 to the negative 15th. This is less than 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So to summarize, when the temperatures decreased to below 25 degrees, both the concentration of hydronium and the concentration of hydroxide decrease to below 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. And the value of Kw drops to below 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. No matter what the temperature is, however, the water remains neutral, as the concentration of hydronium remains equal to the concentration of hydroxide. So let's summarize the effect of temperature. At 25 degrees Celsius, the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide ions is 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, and water is neutral. When the temperatures increase to above 25 degrees, the ionization equilibrium shifts to the right. The concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide are both greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. Value of Kw is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, and water is neutral. Finally, when the temperatures decrease to below 25 degrees, the equilibrium shifts to the left. The concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide are less than 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. The value of Kw is less than 1 times 10 to the negative 14th, and the water remains neutral. It's best not to try to memorize this table. Using your knowledge of equilibrium and the endothermic ionization equation for water, it's fairly easy to determine what happens as temperatures change. And always remember, pure water remains neutral, no matter what the temperature is. Changing temperature always changes the concentration of hydroxide exactly the same way as it changes the concentration of hydronium. So the concentration of hydronium remains equal to the concentration of hydroxide and water stays neutral.